if you have a horse, you're going up to mount and he's walking away like this, it's going around the block, you're feeling like you're having difficulty getting him to line up, or maybe you're able to get him lined up and then you go to finally get on, he moves his hip away like this, or you get in the saddle and as you're getting in the saddle, he's walking off on you. I'm gonna be taking you through the steps of how to solve these issues. So the exercise that I'm gonna be teaching you today, you can see right here with Crosby, is just teaching your horse to step up to the block uh, and line up, teaching him to kind of side pass over there to the block. So when we're teaching our horse how to side pass to us, we want to start the process of teaching using a halter and a line. Eventually we'll be doing this with a bridle, but to teach it, do, using the halter and line helps to keep us safe and gives the horse a little bit more room so that he's more relaxed in this teaching process and feels more comfortable. You're also going to be using a dressage whip as an extension of your arm to help you be able to reach over and touch the horse's hindquarter as you teach him to come towards you. So the first step to this is teaching him to relax with the whip or making sure that he's relaxed with the whip. So I'm just gonna ask Crosby to stand up here. And I'm just gonna take my whip and starting at his neck and shoulders, I'm gonna rub down his back, over his hind quarters, and down his legs. And I'm just making sure that he's not afraid of the whip. So if he moves around or he kicks up at it, swishes his tail. Those are all signs of some anxiety. And if I saw those signs of anxiety, I would just keep rubbing him until he relaxed and then take the whip away. So if you want more details on desensitizing your horse and understanding that process more, which is kind of what we're doing here is desensitizing with the whip, I'll leave a link uh, down below to a video I did on desensitizing. So now let's move on to our next step. In this step, we're gonna be teaching our horse to side pass away from us. This is really important for safety reasons. When we teach our horse to side pass up to the block, we also need to be able to move him away if he gets too close to the block, we feel like he's crowding us. So to teach this, you're gonna start by standing in front of the point of the shoulder here. You're gonna take your whip and put it in the opposite hand of the direction you're going. So I'm gonna be stepping Crosby over here to the left, so my whip and my excess line is in my right hand. I'm gonna hold under my halter, and I'm gonna direct Crosby a little bit over to the left with my left hand. So I'm pointing a little bit to the left. Then I'm going to tap him gently on his rib cage here until he steps over. When he steps over like that, I'm gonna step in front of him, apply a little gentle backward pressure with my left hand and move him back to reward him. So when I'm stepping him back like that, I'm just preventing him from going uh, past me. So one more time, I'm gonna stand up here at the point of the shoulder direct Crosby's nose over to the left, touch him with my whip on his rib cage. When he steps over, I'm gonna release the whip, apply a little gentle pressure with my left hand to step him back. Now things that you can run into with this are first your horse can wanna go past you. So if I were to apply pressure and Crosby were to walk straight forward, I would just immediately walk into him and back him up, applying that pressure and release until he backed up and stood like that. And then I would repeat the cue. If he were to, I tapped him and he started backing up when I'm tapping him, which is the other thing that your horse can do, I would just simply turn and send him forward a step and return him back to standing. And if he's really backing, I might take a minute just to rub him with the whip and help him relax. And then when you're teaching this, you're just repeating it until you get to the place where you can touch your horse with a little bit of light pressure. You can see Crosby, that, like right here, see how he's a little bit, he's not quite moving, I just gently keep tapping him. And eventually I get to that place where I can just touch him and he just steps over, just like that. Our next step is teaching our horse to come to us when we lift the whip. So we're gonna start teaching this by lining our horse up to a wall and we're gonna use the cue we just taught of moving the horse away. So I'm gonna stand here in front of him like this. I'm gonna eventually teach him to move into me this direction. So I'm gonna start in front and I'm gonna ask him to move away from me to begin. So I'm taking my whip over here on the opposite side and I'm gonna to touch him on the rib cage till he steps away. As he steps away like that, I'm gonna pick up my whip on this side. So I kind of crossed over and lifted my whip. And then I would do that again, touch him on this side 
as he's stepping, cross over, pick up my whip. And then when he steps over to me like that, I release and reward him. Now over time, if you're doing that a couple times, you're gonna be able to step away, pick up your whip, and touch your horse on the opposite hip, and he should understand to come up to you. So right here, you can see how Crasby understands that when I lift my whip like that, he should come up to me. And that's our goal. So we're working to the place we're on the wall, he's confident and relaxed with that, and then we're ready for our next step. So now we're ready to have our horse side pass up to us off the wall. So we use a wall to help prevent our horse from going forward when we're first teaching him to come to us. Now we want to see if he really understands this cue by taking the wall away and seeing if he still responds to the cue. If at any time he struggles, we would just go back to the wall again. So I'm going to gather up my line here. I'm going to pet Crosby and I'm going to just pick up my whip and see how well he understands this cue. So I'm lifting my whip just like I did earlier and seeing if he remembers the cue. And there you can see him kind of turn towards me, which is really good. So I'm just gonna gently touch him there, lift the whip. And there was really nice. So if he gives me a really nice response, you notice he didn't walk forward, he just came directly over, which is what we're looking for. So I'm gonna rub him there. If he did walk forward a step, I would just back him a step and repeat the cue. So once he is moving over to you with the whip like this, you can lift your whip and he's stepping up to the whip. You can replace that cue with your hand. So I'm gonna set my whip down. That just makes it easier. Obviously, every time I mount my horse, I may not have a whip around. So I wanna teach him to come up to my hand. So I'm gonna lift my hand here. And if he didn't come up, I would just tap him a little bit, move back, lift my hand again. And you can see there how he comes up to my hand. So I'm gonna rub and reward him. Do that again, lift my hand. And there was really nice. So I'm gonna rub him and reward him. What a good boy, Crasby. Now I'm ready to put his saddle and his bridle on and take him up to the block and we're gonna see how this has helped us out with our mounting. So now I've got Crosby all tacked up and ready to mount. I'm gonna take him over to the mounting block first and see how he does with this. So I'm gonna step up onto my block, raise my hand and ask him to step up to me and line up to the block, just like that. That was really nice. Now, if he gets too close to the block, let's say he came up too close, I could just use my knee here and just apply a little pressure and he'll step away like that uh, because we've already worked on that. If he gets a little too far past me, I can ask him to back up a step. So it makes it really easy for me to adjust him um, around that block. And then when I feel that he's in a good place, I'll just hop on him and just reward him here. And you notice he stands really nicely because his focus is on me. So in doing this work, I'm teaching him to bring his focus more and more on me and less on the environment. And that as a byproduct of that, he's going to stand more relaxed. So if you were mounting your horse from the ground, even let's say that he was tending to walk off and you were on the ground, you could even use this without the block. So I could just take a moment to ask him to come up to me here on the ground with my hand and then when he comes up, I'm just gonna rub him there, position myself where I'm ready to hop on, hop on. And again, he's gonna have his focus more on me because we just worked on bringing his attention to me to do this movement of stepping over. So I hope that this video is a help to you if you're working on teaching your horse to stand at the mounting block if it is, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoy your horses over this next week. You have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next video.